Well, cheers, everybody. How's everybody out there in YouTube land this evening, huh? Cheers to you for all you guys joining the live stream. We are at the Texas Barbecue in Spencerport, New York. And uh, people are going to start looking at me weird because I'm sitting here talking to my phone, but that's just fine. Give you a little look around. Just sort of a, just sort of a bar turned barbecue joint, I guess. But I've heard they do really good things, so we're gonna find out. I ordered some brisket and some pulled pork with some uh, mac and cheese and French fries. So I guess I'm getting kind of traditional barbecue kind of stuff. So we'll find out. But anyhow, we're at the Texas Barbecue. <laughs> in Spencerport, New York. So, and to Mr. Frank Daniels, thank you very much for dinner, Frank. I appreciate you uh, you treating me to this fine dinner, sir. So, thank you very much. That was awful nice of you, Frank. It was not necessary, but your your Zell transfer worked just perfectly. So, not a problem at all. Place is a little loud. Can you guys hear me okay? Or am I getting uh, am I getting blown out? I haven't seen anybody comment yet. Looks like six people watching and nobody commenting. So it's a little early though, isn't it? Okay. Hey Star, how you doing? Nice seeing you too. You're the first person to comment this evening. So it's kind of weird. Usually everyone's racing to be the first one to make a comment, but Star had it this evening. So cheers to you, Star. Doing great. Good to hear that. Good to hear that. Yep. Hey, Rhonda, how you doing? Did not get notifications. Yeah, well, I only started two minutes ago, Rhonda, so it's you'll probably get it in about an hour or so, knowing YouTube. So cheers. There you go. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> I have to listen for my name. My hearing's not good. So if you guys hear them call my name, let me know and I'll go pick up my food. I guess what you do is you order up here at the bar and then you go over here to the counter and that's where you pick up your food. So there's no waitresses involved here at all. There's just a woman at the counter that takes your order and then uh, then you go up and you, you pick up your food. So. The food looking pretty good so far. Sort of a down to earth kind of barbecue joint. Yep. Hey Akula, how you doing, man? Hey, sorry about that thing with the uh, the camera being reversed on the phone, but uh, all the research that I've done, they have all kinds of fixes for photos or for doing video in post production turning it, but nothing while doing it live. There's no mechanism to control my phone to flip the screen so that when I film something with lettering, I film something with lettering, like that West Marine name there, <clears throat> it comes out straight for you guys. So there's just nothing I can do about it. It's just the way it is. So I guess uh, Apple's going to be doing some sort of a fix at some time in the near future, but they have not done it yet. Okay, on another note, I got a lot of editing done today. I got two videos done. Found that out. Android's the same way. Yep, okay. All right. Well, hopefully they'll get that straight in here pretty soon. So, in any event, it's not that big of an irritation. You can simply watch TV in a mirror or on your phone, and it'll flip it again, and then you'll have it right. So, <laughs> you have to watch my live stream to your own phone, and it'll, it'll, trans, it'll transfer... What's the word for that? It'll, uh, anyhow, it'll change it back the way it's supposed to be. So we'll see. We'll see. Anyhow, I got lots of video uh, editing done. I uploaded one video to my Patreon channel today. Uh, that was the video of me uh, initial, uh, the, the first day out sailing, uh, uh, leaving the dock in, uh, in Sandusky and steading out for the first day. I did a nice video on that. That is out and available to my Patreon folks right now. Oh, there's my food, guys. Hold on. Here, you guys can watch the crap. Thank 
Oh, gosh. Like in the, then it was Here's what we got at the barbecue place. Then it was a big piece left. I said, oh, you that cake. Not much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not much. I got uh, pulled pork. I got some brisket, uh, corn, a corn thing, and uh, and some seasoned fries. Huh? I've been told their stuffed potato is the thing to get here. Maybe I should have gotten that. I don't know. I also have free soup if I want to go help myself to some soup. French fries are good. All right. There's the brisket. Got a nice smoke line to it. Pretty good. Pretty good. Hey, Coyote, how you doing, man? That brisket's not bad. Mm. I don't know. This is uh, $13 for this without the beer. Just doesn't seem like much. Tastes good, though. Taste is very good. I guess compared to Grandpa Sam's kitchen, this just doesn't seem like a whole lot of food here. Maybe we get down here. I'll go across the street and we'll hit the Irish pub. That should be fun. That way you guys will get two for one. You'll see two spots for one tonight. Mm. Yeah, that brisket. That yeah, brisket's really good. Very, very tasty brisket tonight. Boom. Um. Just kind of an odd vibe, I guess. Very similar to a lot of the Texas type uh, barbecue joints, you know, very simple, very plain. Keeping with that kind of tradition, I guess. It's all about the meat. And the meat is very good. Although I went all day today without eating. Assuming I was going to have a big portion. Not there. Hey, Kelly, what's going on, man? How are you doing? I'll tell you what. It rained this morning. It rained hard for a while. And then it cleared up. And man, did the wind blow this afternoon. We're having like 20, 25 mile an hour winds blowing here through town. It uh, pretty much cleared everything off the deck of the boat. I had to get stuff down off the off the cabin roof and get it stored. So, hey Joe, how you doing, ma'am? What's going on, buddy? Mm. Okay, so the brisket and the pulled pork are both excellent. I'll give them that. They're both very, very good. Pulled pork sandwich or pulled pork. Very, very good. So. What's new and exciting with everybody today? I didn't do much at all today except hide down below in the boat and edit. Try to stay down out of the rain. Like I said, I got two videos done. One video went up on Patreon. It was uh, me getting on the boat and first leaving Sandusky. The other video I got done was my sort of hard to be in Kansas. It's hard to beat Kansas City barbecue. That may be true, Kelly. Yep, that may be true. Uh, the second video I got done today was uh, my catch, clean, and cook. 
well, minus the catch and minus the clean. I didn't film me catching the catfish. I have some footage of it afterwards, but I didn't film me catching the catfish. I don't know why. I guess I just wasn't overly optimistic when I went fishing, but... Um, and, of course, with YouTube's regulations now, you can't videotape the actual cleaning of the fish because that'll get you demonetized. So... Um, So I did a nice video of me of me cooking the fish. I fried the fish in cast iron skillet with a little flour on it, had some rice with it, very nice meal. But I was really ill prepared for doing a cooking episode on the boat. The boat's just it was just a mess back then, actually it still kind of is, but I was really, you know, didn't have things put away or straightened out or organized yet, so. I'm one of those people that, it takes me a little time to get organized. It takes a little time to get stuff figured out where everything's supposed to be and getting it in this place. Um, I'm very much a, you know, where you need it kind of guy. You know, I, I like to store stuff and put stuff away based on its handiness and how close I need to have it in hand for whatever I'm doing. You know, really moving on to the sailboat and selling across Lake Gary and down the canal, I really wasn't sure what I needed to have at hand, so. A bit of a challenge, actually. But now I'm getting it figured out. So now I'm getting more and more stuff stored. How long before you hit the Hudson? Huh. I don't know, Joe. It's going to be... Um, it's going to be at least a week, maybe more. Um... I forget what mile I'm at. I'm at, I think, like around mile 70 out of out of 340 to cross Lake Erie or cross uh, the canal. I think I'm at mile 70 or 65 or something like that. So I'm only like um, what a third quarter a quarter to a third of the way across so far so i got a long way to go and with this rain here i got delayed a couple of days that slowed me down don if you uh, gut a fish on youtube they demonetize it they say it's not fit for for advertisers so i'm not going to do that And you put the mast up for the Hudson. No, the mast will go up on the Hudson, Joe. As soon as I get over to the Hudson River, there's a uh, uh, yacht club over there that has what's known as a gin pole. It's uh, just a pole that I can use to uh, put the mast back up. Um, I'm going to go use their gin pole and put it up. And that'll be as soon as I get to the Hudson, and then I'll be able to sail all the way down the Hudson. Well, motor, sail, whatever. Depending on wind, tides, and conditions. And the Hudson's about 150 miles long. So I'll probably be in the Hudson for a week or so. Um, I'm actually beginning to feel a little pressure. Hey, pilot, how you doing? I'm actually beginning to feel a little pressure to be down in New York City by the 4th of July. You know, what are we at? 30 days now, right? 31 days? Um, I gotta start making tracks if I'm gonna get down there in time. Because it's uh, gonna be a long way to go yet. And I've been taking too much time. I will say this much, I'm glad I'm not on the canal out today because the wind has been really hard. I'm blowing something fierce. Even though you're very protected on the canal from the trees and the buildings and stuff, pulling up to a dock and trying to grab a hold of lines and stuff with this wind blowing the way it is would be would not be fun. That'd be a challenge. Um, Oh. <clears throat> I don't know. 
Blowing in Florida too, huh? Yeah. I keep pushing the mac and cheese away from myself and then I grab another forkful of it. It is pretty good. Oh. Pretty typical barbecue place. I guess there was a bit more hype than barbecue. Huh. Oh well. We still have fun, right? Not very many people tonight. Wow, only 26 people watching. I would have thought we'd have a whole lot more than that today, but people are tired of my live streams along the canal, I guess. What's mac and cheese? 12 degrees. You uh, <clears throat> you boil macaroni and then they add cheese to it and sort of make a, a gelatinous, um, gooey pasta and cheese dish. Really, you don't know what mac and cheese is? Well, you know, Joe, if you remember, when I came out of... Uh, Oh, I don't know if you were there. When I came out of Grandpa Sam's the other night, I ran into some folks who had just come out of the Irish pub. They had gone there for dinner, and they apparently had a pretty good meal, so. No, but I do now. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think they're going to pick up after 7. This place closes at 8. They actually close their doors at 8 p.m. So, um, I don't think they're going to get any busier. Weird, but what the hell? Anyhow. There you go, John. How you doing, man? Glad you're watching from home for a change. <laughs> home is okay. Talking about my viewers. What about my viewers? Oh, the viewer beer will send me. Don't know if I'm there, though. Maybe. Wow. Hey, Coyote. It may be because you... Uh, well, yeah, but I did the same thing uh, the other night. It's the best way. It gives me the best return on the investment, so... You know, all the rest of them take too much of a percentage. Although Frank Daniels, the fellow who bought me dinner this evening, um, he used an app called Zelle, Z-E-L-L-E. To be honest with you, I was a little leery of it because, you know, it's heard of before. But I set up an account with Zelle, and uh, he made a donation, and a day later it was in my bank account up in Alaska. So... But I think PayPal is still the uh, most popular, safest uh, alternative so far that I've seen. And seems like what most people are doing is through PayPal. So that works best. Huh. I guess that's it. <clears throat> I'm going to finish my beer and we'll head out on the street. <laughs> There you go, guys. <clears throat> Why don't we, uh... I'm cutting out bad, really. Huh. I thought I'd have a pretty good signal this evening. All right.
All right. I guess we're out of here. Uh -oh. <clears throat> I don't know, guys. You know, maybe. Woo! Win! Wow! <laughs> maybe I just ordered the wrong thing. I don't know. But, uh, for all the hype, that was sort of underwhelming, actually. I was uh, expecting more. It was good now. Of course. What? It was good now, horse caca, okay. Breaking up bad, huh? Well, is it any better now that I'm out in the street? Now that I'm street walking? <laughs> I'm getting here to the crossing walk. We have a sign here on the crosswalk that says, state law, people have to stop for for pedestrians on the crosswalk. Good luck with that. Good way to get yourself run over, I think. Oh, anyhow, for those of you guys that haven't seen it, this is downtown Spencerport. Kind of what it looks like going down that way. This is, and uh, probably do some laundry. I'm not, you know, in desperate need of laundry. I want to get some stuff done, so. This right here, by the way, guys, is Splatter's studio. I'm going to do more on Splatter's tomorrow. This is Kate and her husband's business. If you guys remember Kate from the other night, the waitress. <clears throat> they have all these little figurines, different things like that that you can paint. And uh, things like plates and what have you. You can come here and do birthday parties and stuff like that where you go in. And you uh, you paint the different things, and then they glaze them for you, and uh, you go back and pick them up. So could be fine. Let's see what it says here. Welcome to Macaulay's. How you guys doing? I'm doing great. So well, let's go in and have a beer, shall we? See how weird people look at me. How about just a Stella? Cool. Shake back, Joe. Do I run the tab or pay you now? Uh, whatever you want to do, man. Hi guys, we're going to have some beers here at, uh, what's the name of the place? Macaulay's. Macaulay's, okay. Love the Zeppelin? I didn't see a Zeppelin. Where's there a Zeppelin? There was a Zeppelin right now. Oh, a guy here says love the Zeppelin, but I didn't know you had a Zeppelin. So. All right, you're going to hold on to that for me? Okay. Oh, really? All right. We'll go in here and sit down. All right, kids, there we go. Oh, I, I think that bar. You're absolutely correct. Led Zeppelin is playing in the background. I'll probably get dinged on that from YouTube as well. <laughs> yeah, that uh, barbecue place, that was sort of, I don't know, disappointing actually. You know, I thought that would be uh, something nice like that Grandpa Sam's place was. But, oh well, live and learn. This place has food and drinks and stuff, so... Not that I want to eat anything, I'm pretty full. Huh.
Cajun breaded deep fried catfish. Imagine that. Chef's burger Irish pizza. Irish pizza. Thousand Island dressing, corned beef, asagio cheese, and sauerkraut on an eight inch oven roasted crust. Okay. Ha. All righty. So there you go. <laughs> Get it. No, I don't think so, Joe. <clears throat> Fact is, I had enough to eat. That little bit that I had over there was just fine. So, yep. Mine isn't like that. Okay. All good for you. So, am I coming in good now for everybody? Huh. <clears throat> when I walked in here, my signal actually stopped. I had to restart it. So, Johnny Hag, I tried their um, pulled pork and their brisket. Is what I ordered. Good. It's just the portion was really small, so I was a little disappointed by that. So, Chuck Gypsy. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate that. So, anyhow, we'll sit here and we'll have a Stella. Drink some good beer. <clears throat> Enjoy a beer or two before I head back to the boat. I'll go back. I got that one video edited. I just got to upload it now. Me voice breaking, but okay. Huh. I'm sorry to hear that, guys. I don't know. I don't know why that would be. <clears throat> Seems like we got pretty good signal here, so I don't know. I don't know why, but it did uh, It did disconnect as I walked in. Maybe there was a lot of interference or something as I first came. Seems to be working now. I didn't have why. Um, I was just looking at that. I, You know, I actually just ate over at the barbecue place. I wasn't impressed. I a barbecue joint down in Ohio. I just sailed across Lake. I'm on a sailboat over here. And uh, man, that place was awesome. I mean, they smoked and then barbecued. It was really good. Nice big portion. So I was kind of optimistic and I heard a lot of, I heard a lot of, you know, stuff about this place. And then when I got over there yesterday or today, I was sort of, you know, they didn't live up to the hype. You know, the food was good. You get the free soup to add to the meal. Yeah, I didn't do that. So. Oh, guys, sorry about acting. So I'm back. Seems like when your inside reception breaks down, it was perfect down on the street, huh? Not going to work in there. Okay. Hey, call everybody. How y'all doing? Hey, Frank. How you doing, Frank? By the way, Frank, thank you for dinner tonight. I went over to the barbecue place and ate over there. Your signal is corrupted inside. Outside, it was perfect. Can you sit outside? Um, no, I can't sit outside. Let the waiter know we all say hi. Okay, I will do that. <laughs> that has clear video and audio okay maybe it just depends on where the phone is sitting at the moment that's what's going on man how you doing by a window yeah maybe yeah maybe you guys should try refreshing because right now my phone is, I, I don't want to move it because it seems like i have a good signal right where i'm at I'm going to stop and restart here, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys. I should be on Wi-Fi now. It should be much better. Can you guys, can you guys dig it? Huh? Is it better there? Huh? I'm back. Is it better now? Sweet. Yeah, much better. Yeah? Awesome. All right, there we go, guys. There we go. Okay. 
So now we have Wi-Fi here at Macaulay's. Excellent. We've got good picture. You guys can hear me okay. Awesome. We'll just hang out here this evening and drink some beers then. How's that, guys, huh? Make an evening out of it. They gave me a menu. You look like a real person again. Uh-oh, can't have that, man. Now we're cooking bacon. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <clears throat> All right, they have wings, any chicks? Um, how's that? Wait a minute, time out again, miss? You gotta come here, you, you, got on, you got on before and you waved hello, and now everybody wants to know who you are and your name. Hello, can't tell my name, they'll stalk me. They won't stalk you? <laughs> All right, she won't give her name. She's afraid of being stalked, so there you go, guys. Time I got. Hey, pilot. Get the wings? Yeah, I don't know. Going into an Asian store for supplies. There you go, Frank. I did a video cooking Carl's bacon. Yes, she did. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Yep. She's all right. We will. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. They said they will stalk you. I told you. Yep. <laughs> Trolls are a plenty. There you go. Trap plus one. There you go. Oh, man. I don't know if I can eat anything more, guys. I'm not really hungry. Although, I tell you what, coming into an Irish pub and not having something like a Reuben or something would be just sacrilege, wouldn't it? But I've already eaten too much, so yeah, yeah, easy to be careful. Yeah, I've already eaten enough. I'm on a diet, so I'm gonna pass on some food, but they do have a nice menu. For those of you guys interested, they've got a nice menu, lots of stuff on there. Reub Reuben fritters, sounds wild. Uh, sweet potato wedges, goat cheese, artichoke, spinach dip, Irish poutine, pub pretzels, crab stuffed mushrooms with Alfredo sauce, buffalo chicken dip, battered green beans, pub fries, mussels, and Macaulay's wings. That's just the appetizer. So <clears throat> they got a bunch of different soups and stuff, inc including some Guinness beef stew. I bet you that's great. And they got the usual, you know, Reuben sandwiches and crab cakes and <clears throat> chef's choice, corned beef hash, bangers and mash, calamari haddock, crab cakes, crake plate, and Macaulay shepherd's pie, a little crake plate. Take on the traditional Rochester garbage plate. Choice one burger, two bangers, two hot dogs, four ounces corned beef. Oh my God, sounds like a monster. Anyhow, what I miss in the chat here, guys. Hey, Country Cruiser, how you doing, ma'am? Yeah, I can always come here tomorrow. I'm not, well, I may not be here tomorrow night, but yeah, I could. I'm married to an Irish redhead. Pity me. Oh, there you go, man. Try the beef stew. Oh. Shepherd's pie is excellent. Yep. What's the phone number there? I want to buy you a beer. I don't know, pilot. It's like our son. No, but they want to know. What, first of all, what's your name? Uh, I'm Andrew. Andrew, hello, Andrew. Andrew, what's the phone number here? Phone number here? Oh. Oh, it should be on the menu. I got to try the. It's on the menu. Yeah. For you. 585-617-4279. There you go. According to Andrew, the phone number here is 585-617-4279. There you go. And the bartender's name is Andrew. So, hey, Armco, what's up, man? I use the Wi-Fi to upload it, yep. Is he Irish? Um, he looked Irish. I would imagine he is. Yep, I would imagine so. <clears throat> yep. No doubt. No doubt. How could you not have a Guinness? Uh, Johnny Hag, I'm, I'm just not a big fan. Um, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the dark beers. I guess I should, but, you know. 
Yeah, I did see Bob's injury. Yeah, with his pirate patch on, huh? Looks, looks pretty cool. Bob looks cool with his pirate patch on. So, <clears throat> yeah, fireworks blew up in his face. That could be uh, that could be nasty. So, can't beat barbecue joints. I don't know. This place looks like it's got pretty good food. So, the Irish don't drink Guinness. No, I didn't think so. The, the English drink Guinness. So, at least that's what I've been told. Hope he gets better. Oh, I do too, Trav. He will. The Irish drink kerosene. Oh, man. Do they sell Kilkenny Kill Draft there? I don't know, Mike, but I can ask Travis or Troy or whatever his name is when he comes back. So, remind me. Kilkenny, huh? Okay. <clears throat> I'll have to ask him. Come to Baltimore for steamed crabs, Carl. You know, I might do that. I definitely might be do that. I'll be definitely, well, I don't know if I'll be in Baltimore. I won't go that far inland. I'll be along the coast, though. So I'll be staying at places all along the coast as I make my way from New York down to, uh, uh, down to the uh, boat show in Annapolis, Maryland. So, so I don't know if I'll be in Baltimore, but I'll be in Mar I'll be in Annapolis anyway. Steam crab, yeah, steam crab definitely sounds good. So, C and D canal, okay. What's the C and D canal? I don't think I'm familiar with that one. Where is the C and D canal? I don't know. I'm not familiar with that one, ma'am. You'll have to edu educate me. So. So today we had a pretty good day. Miss Lily hung out. They're setting up for a big uh, amusement park fair thing. Smithwick's for harps. Okay. Anyhow, they're setting up for a big, you know, fair thing, which is going to start Wednesday. So I definitely need to be out of here by Wednesday. I don't want to be here with a bunch of big crowd of people walking by my boat because they're setting up right in that big field where Lily's been going. So. Uh, cool and windy. Um, high of about 72, 73 today, but the wind's blowing something fierce. 15, 20 mile an hour winds blowing today. So, uh, gusts higher than that. But I'm on the canal, so weather's not much of an impact. I just don't like to be out in the cockpit driving the boat while training. So, and the forecast was rain yesterday and today, so I was just sitting still, just hanging out, you know, letting the weather pass. So, Yes, very comfortable weather, actually. Actually, I got a little cold on the boat today. I actually thought about putting on a long sleeve shirt, but yes, perfect sleeping weather, absolutely. Um, I don't have to negotiate any locks to my next stop. I'm actually going to be going from here down to... Um, oh, no, I forget the name of the town. Anyhow, there's some lift bridges between here and there, but there's no locks. Now, just on the opposite side of that town, there's some locks. So from once I get, when I leave there, I'll be getting into some locks. That'll be locks 33 and 32. Um, I'm gonna be going around Rochester. Uh, when I leave here, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm gonna leave here tomorrow or not. It depends on what time I get done with my errands. I need to do laundry and I need to do a uh, grocery run, do a little provisioning. So depending on what time I get up and what time I get those errands run, will determine whether or not I'm gonna leave here or not. Laundry is going to take a couple hours, so I'll probably jump on that first thing in the morning. But it's right next to the grocery store, so I'll probably do that and then hit the grocery at the same time. Although I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to transport everything back up to the boat. Unless I borrow a shopping cart from the grocery store or something. I could do that. May get in trouble for it, but I could do that. and Just bring it up to the boat, unload it, and run it back down to them, I guess. So... They're not far, they're only like three blocks away, so. Veronica would love Switzerland too, okay. <clears throat> Look like plenty of food, all right. Well, thanks, pilot, appreciate it, man. Cheers to you. Uh. <clears throat> Very much has a feel of an Irish pub. They even do this sort of like faux wood beam thing on here, so. 
Sandy Canal is a 14 mile, 450 foot wide, 35 foot deep ship canal that connects the Delaware River to the Chesapeake Bay in the states of Delaware and Maryland. Oh. You can by folding carts for the boat made of plastic. Yeah, I know a Kula. I don't have one of those. <coughs> Nor is there any store around here that would sell something like that. But yeah, I guess I could. I really need something like that, like a little fold-up wagon or something like that. That's becoming more and more uh, obvious to me. I have a little hand truck thing, but it doesn't it doesn't carry very much, and the handle on it's really short, so it's hard for me with my bad back to pull it. So fast to Annapolis, okay. 65 on Amazon, yeah, yeah. But then I need to have it shipped to me, and that's always a problem uh, while I'm moving. Hey, sailing. Because um, while I'm moving, I never know where I'm going to be or when I'm going to be there right now. So it would be hard to have something like that and buy it on Amazon. It's hard for me to buy anything on Amazon right now because I just have no idea where to ship it to. Um, <clears throat> I did get some stuff delivered to the mailbox uh, back in, um, where was it, a couple towns since I stopped back. But I haven't, uh, I haven't stopped at one. Since then, it has, uh, well, actually, this town would have been good because the post office is very convenient, very close, so. Any hey, museum dedicated to the canal along the way? Yes, Trav, I filmed some stuff in one of the museums yesterday. I'll be putting that out in the video, so. Ship to a viewer, yeah, I could do that. C&D is beautiful with many places, okay, cool. Drink is Killian. This one, uh, actually the whole round is on one of your moderators. Is it a Walk Shop Pilots? Walk Shop Pilot. Okay. All right. Super. Thank you, Pilot. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Appreciate the beer. Very nice of you. These guys must think I'm so weird doing this. Coming to a beer to a pub and having other people buy my beer, so. Yeah. Balmer crabs. Okay. Yeah, crabs along the Maryland shore are are world famous. Um, little Old Bay seasoning and stuff. I'm kind of looking forward to having some Maryland crabs. So, years ago, I used to shoot a lot of trap skeet and sporting clay. Bums, buddy. There you go, pilot. Thank you, sir. And uh, we used to go to a big shoot over in Maryland every year. You can have stuff sent to me, and I'll make sure you get it. Yeah, I can do that, Doug. Although I don't know exactly, it's still gonna be a month before I'll get down to you, so. It might be nice to buy something like that and have it shipped somewhere where I can get to it along the way. And of course I have to figure out some place on the boat to store it. And that's always a big issue. <clears throat> so. Always a problem, always a problem, but. Huh. Anyhow, I completely forgot my train of thought, so that would be good timing, Doug. Yeah, yeah, it would be. Or I could have it sent to my sister. I've already had some stuff sent to my sister there on Long Island. Um, some folks wanted to send me some books and some other items, so we had some items shipped to my sister. She lives in Brentwood, New York. That could be a possibility, order stuff and have it sent. We're going to need a bigger boat. Yeah, probably. Probably. My little boat's getting awful full. Not a lot of room on it now. Just got up too late for the Barbie. Now, hey, hi all. Hey, Craig, how you doing, man? Uh, what do you fly? Here you go. Inquire about the Amazon locker. So there's an idea. Yep, there's a good idea. Marilyn Manson, George Bush Street, Danny DeVito. Bang one, marry one, kill one, ready, go. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Cesta 172, there you go, pilot. Nice little plane. Nice little plane. Saw a shitload of those up in Alaska. Seemed like everybody and his brother had a little 172. Do they have Uber in that town or a taxi? Could you get back to boat tomorrow? To do what? 
do they have Uber in that town or a taxi to get you back to the boat tomorrow? Oh, yeah. Uh, actually, they don't have either here. Um, the nearest taxi is next town over. I already looked at that. So, But the grocery store is not that far. So I've got a big, heavy backpack. I might just put the back. Hey, Kim, how you doing? I might just put the backpack on and uh, and carry this stuff that way. So might be just fine to do that. I don't know. It depends. The one thing I need to stock up on is some beverages, and you know I buy those 12 packs of uh, uh, seltzer water, flavored seltzer water, and I can get pretty heavy. So yeah, Jared. Yeah, sorry, man. I've been on for like 47 minutes, Jared. So Pea pod delivers. Okay. Huh. What's a pea pod? I have no idea. I don't think they have those here in upstate New York. Measured by its longevity and popularity of Cessna 172 is the most successful aircraft in history. Yep, I wouldn't be surprised at that, about that at all. Pea pod for provisions, huh? Okay. Eat some food, man, and interview people. I've been trying to talk to people, but the bar here is sort of, I don't know, for an Irish pub, they're pretty quiet, so. Not get the YouTube live notice here either. Good to see you, Carl. Hey, David, how you doing? It's a market delivery service for the home or boat. Huh. Well, are they located up here in Spencerport, New York? I don't think so. I've not heard of them before. That may be just a Long Island thing or a New York thing or a major a major metropolitan thing, probably. It'd have to be to be profitable. Out here in the country, it costs too far to drive everywhere. Warehouse home delivery. Stop at shops. Huh. Hey, Donna, how you doing? Just done number four night shift. Let me go. Oh, Dave, man. Nope, nationwide. Okay. Never heard of Peapod. I guess I've been kind of isolated. I need to get out more. So, hey, Don S., how you doing? Glad to see you here. Pretty quiet day for me, actually. Probably the quietest day I've had in a long time. Call supermarket and see if they have delivery service. Now, there's an idea, Doug. I could do that. That's not a bad idea at all. Green trucks, huh? Well, Peapod, that would make sense if they would have green trucks. Um, well, that fellow there must be the owner or the chef. So he's all dressed up in chef gear, so. I guess. Yeah, how are you feeling, Douglas? Am I late? Yeah, Chief has been. No, you're not that late, man. Not a problem. What's for dinner? I already had dinner. I had barbecue over at the Texas barbecue place. It was good. The food quality was good, but it was really small portion. So I wasn't there very long. Went in and got some uh, barbecue yeah. pork and some brisket and left. So on dialysis again, second night. Oh, sorry to hear that, Doug. Sorry to hear that. So. Oh. I think that guy's the owner or the chef, because he's dressed like a chef, so. How you doing? All right. You must be the owner or the chef? Hey, I'm Carl. Hey, Carl, how are you? I'm, I'm live streaming, so say hello. Hey, what's going on? My YouTube folks. So what's good on the menu you got? Oh, everything on that menu is made from scratch. Everything is. Wow. Okay. Phenomenal. Phenomenal? Yeah. Except the ketchup and the mustard. You're just too much of a pain in the neck. But other than that, everything else is made from scratch. Yeah. All the dressings, everything. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, I'll have to try something then. I actually, people had hyped up the barbecue place to me. I'm, I'm staying here on a sailboat. And so I went to the barbecue place this evening and it was, the food was good, but the portions were tiny. Very, very much so. Yeah. Right across the street. Yeah. 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 Now, the night before last, I ate over at Grandpa Sam's. Awesome. Great meal. Great meal. Very good food. Yeah. Yeah. I had a good, had a fun night there. So, just, just proceed. They don't have this bacho here. This is an Irish pub. They're trying to give me ideas of what to have to eat. Actually, I was thinking about trying your, um, 
the, the Reuben fritter. Now, what is a Reuben fritter? So you're taking Reubens and batter them and frying them? Oh, no, no, no. It's a lot more than that. Yeah? It's uh, the corned beef, which I slow cook for probably about nine hours. Okay. Then that gets diced right down. Then I throw in some uh, rang out sauerkraut, you know, get the juice out of that. Uh, puree pickles. And uh, cheddar jack cheese, sour cream, salt, pepper, garlic. Form them into balls. Let the balls set like a meatball. Let that sit for a while. Then they go into seasoned flour, egg wash, seasoned panko, and then they get fried. Oh wow! Okay. They're phenomenal. I'll try that. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll order some. Great. Right, good. Good. That's cool. Thanks for talking to me. I appreciate it. I love talking to the customers. Good. See me anytime you come in here, you'll see me out there talking to everybody. Nice, nice. That's how I maintain the quality I like here. Okay. Yeah. Find out what people are thinking. And that's how we went from number 12 Irish pub in Rochester to number one. There you go. It's been a long, hard job. Cool. <clears throat> Let me go back to the chat, see what I missed. you take the shopping cart to the boat just yeah miss char that's what i i've done that before and they usually are okay with that yeah it's very easy transition man very easy transition uh oh some troll got whacked please tell them we all say hi okay bar where carl is uh oh <laughs> Don't get too crazy, folks. Don't get too crazy. One or two more beers, and that's all I'm having. Yes, I'm very much getting settled down in the boat life. Maybe someone can wrangle me up a kidney. Yeah. Let him plug his restaurant. He did plug his restaurant. Yeah, absolutely. Rhonda, we see you. You're there. I guess I may have missed something in the chat, though. Those things sound amazing. They do sound amazing. I'm going to try them. Oh, you're a ma I'm a m magnet? Okay. Listen to the description of how they prepare the food. Yeah, it does sound good, doesn't it? Been craving bangers and mash. They have it here, Rhonda. <laughs> Take one to go. How is Lily? David Lily is fine. Lily is fine. I just took her out for a big walk before I walked over to the barbecue place. Um, she's actually went on four walks today, so she's been having a lot of fun. Um, I guess we're going to try the uh, Reuben fritters. Reuben fritters. Yep. Yep. That was recommended. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. All right. All right. There you go. If we leave chat on top chat instead of live chat, we don't see all the posts. Yes, that's true. You have to have it set to all chat to see everything. Otherwise, I don't know how they prioritize them, but... Uh, weren't you going to train Lily to carry packs? Yeah, right? <laughs> Good luck with that. It depends on what she's carrying. She'd probably eat half of it on the way back to the boat, so... Hard work always pays off in the end, and that's true. Thank you, sir. Uh. 292 days to St. Patrick's Day, it says. Yes, three dots on top chat, okay. Ah. No, Lily's having a lot of fun today. All the guys that are working on setting up the amusement park thing that's coming, the, the, the carnival that's coming in, they're all walking over to the dock and hanging out and talking with her. So, Grandpa's Kitchen after this, oh, hell no. No, no, no. Uh, the Reuben fritters is more than I should be eating. I can assure you. I will say this much. That the portions seemed like they were really small over the barbecue place, but they did fill me up. So I don't I don't feel hungry anymore. And I was feeling really hungry when I got over there. So. And I left there. I didn't eat everything. So Killian. I'll try to remember Killian. Okay. 
I'll ask when they come back. I like a bar with deer heads on the wall. Diet is done. Yeah, probably for today anyway, Mike, but see the deer heads? They got that one over there. They've got three of them over there above the fireplace right there. And then another one right there. Over there by that couple. They got three deer heads hanging on the wall in here. Yes, Scranty Place is very close, very, very cozy. So, Lily Carl, you were inspiring me. I've been thinking of moving on to the boat. I'm thinking I would love it. You would, Trav, absolutely. Hey, Jared, what's going on, man? What got accomplished at the boat today, and did you go to Cage? I, did, I got rained out going to Cage today, and they were closed today. So it's actually one of the reasons why I stayed an extra day here. I'm going to go over and film Cage tomorrow. Um, I filmed a little bit out front of her place today, just a little bit ago, but I'm going to film more of Cage Place tomorrow. Um, but we got kind of rained out. I did put one of the vinyl signs up, but I didn't do a very good job of it. Uh, the wind kind of got me as I was trying to apply it to the glass. So, But it came out looking pretty good. I mean, it really looked sharp. So, uh, Those are white-tailed deer, Mike. My beer of choice when I could drink good stuff. Okay. Huh. I would like to see Lily pulling you and your groceries on a sled. She's not a sled dog, Miss Shar. Not at all. She is not a sled dog. Anyone wearing a kilt? Nope, no one wearing a kilt. Is the fireplace real? No, it's not. No, it's fake. Go back to that wee lassie with the camera, Carl. Yeah. She's carrying dishes back to the kitchen right now. I was looking at ice chests, sir. Ice chest air conditioners. Okay, today on YouTube, some designs appear to be quite, quite what? Feasible, maybe an idea for you. Yeah, problem is, David, dear, the ice maker that I have is a really good ice maker, but it doesn't make enough ice for that. So I'd have to stop and buy bag ice, and that would sort of defeat the purpose, so. They do work very well putting a fan on them or something like that but I don't have a big enough ice supply for that and I'd rather reserve my ice for my beverages and it does I don't need it anymore that that big heat wave that came through here is past and it's quite quite cool and comfortable now with her pencil eraser pink nose yeah right <laughs> and her grease spot on her head when we were down at the Black Rock uh, lock she went ashore to go to the bathroom and must have walked underneath some piece of equipment that they had and got a big old glob of black grease on her head. So slowly but surely it's been disappearing, but I tried to clean it as best I could the first time she came back to the boat, but it's, it's still there. So do you watch a guy named Bobby Doodles? Yeah, I watch Bob. Yep, absolutely. Don't need AC if you travel south. I doubt it. I doubt it. Yes, yeah, she is a great friend. Absolutely. Love of my life, Lilius. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Better than any wife I ever had, that's for sure. <laughs> she doesn't argue with me. She's always agreeable to whatever I want to do. She's always wanting to play and have fun. She's a good spirited animal. Something happened to Bobby Doodle's eye. Yes, uh, Bob had fireworks blow up in front of his face. And so he has an eye patch on, so. Yes, he must mean Bob from Sailing Doodles. Yes, Bob, the guy's name is Bobby White, and his name of his channel is Sailing Doodles. Uh, she listens, but sometimes she's just having too much fun to playing to, to listen too much. So, do you see any chicks yet? No, not really. No. No. Too early in the evening, I guess. So. Some of the designs appear that they would be quite efficient, although it all depends on ice, dry ice supply. There you go. Yes, that's right, Gordon. Selling doodles. That's Bob from Selling Doodles. Yeah, Bob and I are actually friends. At one point, I was trying to buy his boat, but that didn't work out. So, yes, he'll be okay. He'll be just fine. Um, he had some damage done to his eye. 
but that uh, nothing critical or serious. Fortunately, Laura, the girl that's with him, is a nurse, so she was able to mitigate the circumstances very quickly and uh, and take good care of him. So, uh oh, I'm getting a error message. Looks like I'm running low on battery again. Hold on. Well, I thought I had a lot of battery this time. I guess not. And here we go. And that should take care of that problem. All right, except the dog sometimes. Yep. Yes, he scratched his cornea. No, guns, fireworks, and booze, those three should never be in the same place at the same time. Absolutely. Very bad news right there. And I'm back. Yep, I just had to plug in the battery charger. I have a little uh, iFrogs battery bank that I carry around that powers my phone for a day. Block Ice Works and Longevity Design uses an old transmission cooler to recycle the used water though as it weather best for yeah but Mike is getting to be such a big deal then I have a little small boat I don't have room for all that stuff to use a moderate better, different name and I think I remember you yes um, well grandpa's farm uh, Gordon I changed grandpa's farm to just my name Carl Brook in in the interest of just full disclosure so everybody knows who I am. But yes, I was a moderator for Bob for a long time. Um, uh, we'll have to research that. Carl, would love to hear your thoughts on how to save America. Oh, Christ. That is way too big a subject for tonight. How to save America. Start with shooting all the politicians. I don't know. I don't know. You know, as long as our country keeps electing morons into politics, we're going to have morons in politics. So, yeah, definitely not enough time and not a subject I really want to even approach, you know. Hello from France. How you doing? Look, oh, there we go. Thank you, sir. Nice. All right, guys. So these are the Reuben fritters. See them there? They look like fritters to me, but they're Reuben sandwiches inside. So I know blue algae bloom on Lake Erie. I did not, no. I did see a lot of, uh, of green algae kind of stuff growing. I wouldn't say it was a blue algae, more of a green algae that I saw growing, but also a lot of it in the canal here as well. Yeah, YouTube would flag there. Probably. Where do you think Tracy came from? Ooh, these are hot. Deep down out there. Is it where I came you lived in a cabin in Alaska, if I remember. I don't follow you. So I don't know how you ended up on the canal needle for you. Well, that's it, Gordon. Yep. I, I used to be in a cabin up in Alaska, and now I'm on my own sailboat sailing down the Erie Canal. Happy. Kim, I'm at um, I'm at a pub. I'm at a pub called McCool McCauley's McCauley's Pub in Spencerport, New York. That's where I'm at. Uh, stuff. All algae blooms are deadly. Yep. Why is it that Americans always got a Go to guns for the answer. Because guns have been the answer for so many problems that we've had. That's why. Why does the rest of the world rely on our guns to defend themselves? You know, that's the better question to ask. You know, Dave, everybody asks why Americans always go for their guns. Well, why does the rest of the world for your own protection? Why don't the rest of the world step up and take care of their own protection instead of relying on us to do it all the time? That would be a better question. People try to criticize our American guns, but there's more countries in the world we've rescued because of our guns than uh, anything else. So, yep, guns 
to hear protect us from our own government. Yep. Uh, Kim, I ordered um, Reuben, they're like little Reuben sandwiches. They were recommended by the executive chef. So we go for the guns so we don't need to go for a recliner. There you go. The USA is gun nuts. No, not at all. Not at all. Actually, less than 30% of our population own guns, Mike. Less than 30%. And I am one of that 30. I'm a hero. Okay. Looks like I will probably side with China. They own us now. Yeah, well, China owns everybody now. Or so they think. But we still have guns. We haven't allowed our guns to take them. Yep. I want anti-gun people to try to come to our guns. Shortest war ever. Yep. Hey, Ian, how you doing? I get hurt with flash. Anyhow, here you go. Fritter. That's really good. Besides the U.S. is not as populated everywhere. Some places you need guns to protect yourself from wildlife. Yeah. Hey, Donna, where I lived up in my cabin up in Alaska, I had a, a mama sow and two cub grizzly bears li literally living in my backyard. And I had to go to an outhouse in the middle of the night. So I most definitely carried a shotgun with me all the time there. <laughs> Alex Jefferson's a fool. I'm in Kentucky, no gun permit required. There you go. You know, uh, sailing though, um, interesting observation. I understand that the reason why uh, Japan attacked Pearl Harbor instead of attacking mainland uh, USA is because they fell prey to the uh, movies that came out of uh, California where all the Americans had guns and all the cowboy movies and all the westerns and stuff. So the, the Japanese just figured everybody in America had, was a gun-toting cowboy and so that's why they didn't land here in on our soil to attack us. That's why they attacked us at Pearl Harbor the way they did. True story. And really good evidence as to how guns can be a deterrent without using them. Hey, you're right. This is not the place for a gun conversation. <laughs> Americans have a gun behind every blade of grass. Yep, that's exactly right. I most of my time trying to put folks back together, just saying. Well, yeah, Dave, I can understand that. And you know what? If uh, if they didn't use guns, they'd use knives and they'd use pitchforks and they'd use, you know, whatever else they can find. So, I mean, some of the biggest... Uh, Killings in America weren't used by guns, they were fertilizer. So. We're going to ban guns, we should ban manure. The fritz are good, but I'm kind of full, so I'm not going to eat a lot of them. Um, my next stop and when? Tomorrow morning I'm going to. Uh, tomorrow morning I'm going to go ahead and um, do some provisioning and do some laundry. And as soon as I get that done, depending on what time of day it is, I'm going to head out. If it's early enough, I'm going to go. If it's late, I'm not because 
I'm, I'm right up against the city of Rochester, and I really want to get completely through Rochester in one day. Or stop this side of Rochester and then go through it the next day. So I got to... I just got to watch and see what the schedule like and see what time I get done and then I'll be able to decide. So right now I, I don't have an answer for that. How will you keep Lily safe in populated areas? Too hot to lock up the cabin and someone could steal her from the deck. Donna, it's not that hot, Donna. She's absolutely fine down below in the boat. I'm just trying to outlaw knives because, yeah, right. Uh, after living in the States, it's scary how easy it is to get, to get crazy guns. Yep. Well, Megan still watches, but let her know Bobby will be okay. Yep. I mean, when you go south. Even when I go south, Don, I, so many people, I, I, you know, that they, you, you, you just imagine the worst all the time. Even when I go south, I'm going to be along the coast, so there's always going to be coastal breezes and that kind of stuff. Lily will be just fine. Actually, going down in the boat, getting down the bottom of the boat is very comfortable for her because it stays nice and cool in the bottom of the boat, so she likes it down there. She oftentimes will go down and lay on, when it was really hot here, she would go down and lay on the floor of the boat because it was nice and cool. Um, I have a sister who lives in Florida. She complains to me daily. Well, but that's, you know, if you live in Florida and you're inland Florida, yeah, you're in the breeze. Um, just depends on where you're at, I guess. People only see half of the facts. That's right. That's right. Use ice bags for Lily Ziploc. Um, okay. You did not have AC 60 years ago. That's right. That's right. Lily is just fine. She's shedding off most of her hair now anyway. She'll be just fine. It's it's really not a problem. Oh. Uh, I'm full. I only ate one of these fritter balls. I feel bad having only eaten one, but I'm full. Yep, that dog does have it better than some people. Oh well. Cheers, guys. Labs grow it all back. Yeah, they do if it gets cold. Lunch tomorrow? I don't think so. Make a good snack later. Nap. 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 Last thing I need to have on the boat. Mutually assured destruction. Take the lead. No, hell no. Oh, you're a class act, man. Well, thank you. Bobby had his dogs in the Caribbean without AC. Yep, certainly did. Certainly did. And those, those poodles have a lot of hair on them, so... Sorry about the question. Something some of us women do try to think of all the possibilities to avoid. Yeah, Donna, I understand that. I, I do. I do understand that. But sometimes people just always, you know, imagine the worst case possible scenario and blow things way out of proportion. And so, I mean, it's one thing to consider, you know, those things that are problematic, but sometimes people just, because they don't know, they don't have experience, they just imagine things to be a whole lot worse than what they really are. And so, good answer, okay. All right, good enough, good enough. We'll just leave it at that, so. The dog is fine, the dog is fine, and I'm fine. I'm mighty fine, actually. I'm friggin' awesome lately. I tell you guys, I'm, I'm absolutely blown away. Two months ago, if, uh, two months ago, if, uh, 
If you had told me I'd be sitting here enjoying a meal like this and some beers and chatting with you guys, I would not have imagined it. I really wouldn't. So it's just it's just a world of difference. Bobby, Megan, and the boys did good without AC hooked up when they could. Yep. You need a beer. Oh, I still have a little bit left on this one. I'm going to jump up and eat all the chip bagels and snacks you have hanging. No, she doesn't touch any of my stuff, Tim. She's got her own food and she's got her own treats. So, I just get angry when outsiders complain about the USA, especially when the United States helps support them. Yeah, right? Hey, Graham, did you hear that Elena from the Vagabond is expecting a baby? Is she really? Gosh, I can't imagine how that happened. She's well trained. <laughs> the dog or Elena? Which one are you referring to, Tim? That was funny seeing those two statements one after the other. Yeah, I, I can't imagine how Elena could possibly have gotten pregnant, stuck on a boat all this time with, uh, you know, that just doesn't make any sense. So imagine that a woman and a guy living together on the boat, and the girl gets pregnant. Imagine that. You know, they know how that happens these days. It's not a surprise anymore. I know I followed him from when he first started on the farm in Alaska. It was just a thought that he said how important she is to him, as we already know. Yep. Tim was talking about the dog, I think. Yeah, right? I think. I hope so. Wolf, and I thought he was gay. <laughs> Yeah, well, apparently not. Apparently not. Yeah, I had the same concerns, too. There was a couple of times, but... One comment I do have in America will always help for a price as every other large country. Uh, you're taking the mickey out of me, Pops. Okay, Dave. Yeah. I don't know. Seems to me there's a whole lot of countries that we've gone way out of our way to help out. I don't remember ever getting repaid by any of them. Uh, true story. My uh, one of my better friends father had gone over to France. It's okay, Tracy, it's okay. Pretty good. Um, one of my friend's fathers went over to France and uh, made a comment to the people that he'd been there before. Been a while, though. And the person went through his passport and said, I don't see any stamps where you'd been here before. He said, well, the last time I was here, there wasn't anybody to stamp my passport as I entered the country. The guy got all huffy and upset with him, you know, the way the French will sometimes. And he says, oh, we always check your passport. What do you mean you came here without having someone check your passport? That's impossible. He says, I don't know, the last time I got here, I arrived on the beach in Normandy, and there wasn't anything, anybody here but Germans to check us in, so. I guess the French guy backed up a little bit after that, realizing that this American had been one of the people that saved his country, as we have so many others. Um, yeah, probably not. Um, box for those, uh, nah, because they would just go to my dog, and I really don't want to be sleeping in the bed next to her when she starts passing them gas-wise, you know. Sauerkraut and a dog, just not a good mix, you know. <laughs> so, no, I, I think I'm just going to call it a night. I'm going to hang out here for a little bit. I may have another beer in a bit, but uh, I'm well, good for uh, now. You pulled out of your car, you actually got nothing else to pay for. So. Oh. Yeah, your, uh, your audience picked up the tap so far. <laughs> If you want another one, I'll just keep your card back there and you let me know. Yeah, just hold on to it for a little bit till I'm ready to go. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. I really do appreciate all that, guys. Yeah, there would be no America without the French. Yeah, there'd be no French without the Americans. So, one country is refuse to support. I'm back again. Hey, Frank. Just bought some octopus and kimchi. Oh, wow. Okay. Lily is living dog's dream. Imagine all the trees she can be on and leave her mark if many dogs travel that far. 
My St. Bernard drove across Canada with me 11 times. Loved every minute. Yeah, Lily's having a ball. She really is. She likes being in new places all the time. When we're going down the canal, she sits up in the cockpit. She gets up on the side and just watches everything go by. She really is enjoying the trip. So, that was a good story. I gave him a wake up call. Yep. And there it is, Gramps. The USA was not the only country to save. <laughs> To save France. No, but we kind of led the way. Do you know any why a shark will not eat a lawyer? Yeah, professional courtesy. Absolutely. Yes, the French did help us first. We owed them, no doubt about it. But the French only helped us because we were defeating England. That was the only reason for it. Otherwise, they could have cared less. Yeah, French do make good pastry. Good food, yeah. Traffic on the canal is non-existent. Cam, it really is non-existent. I had one boat pass me today. I had two boats pass me yesterday. The, the traffic on the canal is non-existent and I don't get it. I really don't get it. So, already got the tab. Yep, yep, there's somebody already got the tab, so. I don't know who. I know Pilot paid for a beer. I don't know who got everything else, but maybe Pilot got everything else. I don't know, but thank you, Pilot. Appreciate it, ma'am. But yeah, Lily's really enjoying the canal. I really think that, um, forever was way to go, yeah. The boats are probably in Fairport. Now, now see, Fairport might be my next stop. Crew traffic will pick up as we get into the middle of summer. Well, but I'm on the Lake Erie side, so what about all the boats in Lake Erie that are heading out? I mean, I you know, I think about all the people that lost their boats during the hurricane season, you know, because they kept their boats down around Florida and stuff. And I'm thinking to myself, why would they do that when they could come up here and play on the canal for the summer, you know? Sorry, Graham, but to say America was the way is insulting to every other country that was fighting a lot longer and far higher losses. Well, I didn't think anybody else was fighting that much and, or putting as much resources into it as what we did, but you go with that, Mike. Can you change the name of the stream to include the name of the place you're at also? Yes, Kim, I'm at Spencerport, New York. I think that's in the description. I put the town name in the description. So it should be in the live stream description name. Authentic frontier gibberish. There you go. Whatever. Anywho, I really am surprised that a lot of those boats that, you know, the people that lost their boats during the hurricane and stuff, why they don't come up here. Um, every place I've stopped so far on the canal has been free. Oh, and I saw a sign today. It's a 48-hour limit in each town. You're allowed to spend two days, apparently, in each town. So the name of the restaurant is McCully's, McCully's Irish Pub here in Spencerport. So, well, you know, you come into a town, you got a free place to tie up, you got free electric, you got free water, you got bathrooms and showers to use. And so you come in, you spend a little money in town, you go to the grocery store and you, you eat at the restaurants, you buy some fuel and you, you shop at the local businesses and you spend a little money and that makes it worthwhile for them. You know, that's the reason why they do that, to get people to stop. So I'm really surprised there's not more boats up here doing that. You know, I know the canal system in Europe has tons of boats that go into the canals during the off season. So I'm really surprised they're not doing that as much here because they really should be. Um, Killing here to witness that, yep. Talk about shelter and history, listen to what you're saying. Okay. We had bad weather downstate New York, bad this winter, March, and last month. A lot of damage, too. Yeah, I imagine so. Podcast, hardcore story, very unbiased account. Hey, Grandpa, a pickleback? What the hell, Alexander? I don't know what that means. I think Fairport is a small fee, depending on the length of the boat. I think it's 11 bucks for a 29-footer. Huh. Well, if that's the case, I will bypass Fairport. 
would cost eight thousand dollars plus to trek your boat there. If you sailed to there, it would take two months plus cost. Yeah, but you're not in hurricane zone, Akula. You got to get out of the hurricane zones anyway. At least you should if you're responsible. So there might be trees on their boats. Irish shot. Okay. Have awesome community. Yes, thank you, everybody. Huh. All right. Well, enough argument. That's enough argument. Let's change the subject. If we get too far off topic, we might scare Carl away. Just saying. Yeah, let's change the topic. I'm not going to argue about stuff that's ancient history at this point. $8,000. Why would it cost $8,000 to move the boat? You get on the boat and you sail. Why is it going to cost $8,000? That makes no sense to me. It doesn't cost me anything to move my boat. It doesn't cost me hardly anything. Very good. Very good. Yep. They were very good. I'm just full. Uh, but the earth is flat. Maybe they'll toll booths and insurance. I haven't seen a toll booth. There are no toll booths up here on the canal, so. Uh, my main course tonight, Wally, was over at the barbecue place. I had uh, pulled pork and uh, barbecued brisket. So, and it was very good. 80 light wind. Nice, Cam. Have two months to sell it each year. I'm, well, Akula, I'm talking about the live aboard cruisers. I'm not talking about the the weekend. I'm not talking about the weekend sailors. I'm talking about the live aboard cruiser folks. Just do a mic drop. Okay. Bones for the pup? Nope, no bones for the pup. It was really good, but I'm just so full from eating over there. I just, I was like, I had one. I was like, man, I didn't think they were going to be that big. But it was really good. I really liked the, the flavor profile. Really nice. Really nice. Yep. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it immensely. But three of them was just, that was just too much. You know, I ate over there. I already had a couple beers. And I'm like, you know, I got to walk to the boat yet tonight. So I I don't want to overload it. So, but it was awesome, man. Really good. Yep, I did very much. Cost a fortune across the Hudson River too with prefab, wide loads, trailer homes. Huh. Really late. Is it my round? No, nope, Barry. All rounds are done. I think at this point. Tools, not toll booths, tools. I don't know. Next stop, Alan. Good, good uh, question. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I got to do some more homework, apparently. Uh, Dylan, you know the guy on Diners, Drivers, and Dives, yeah, right? Hey, Mike Rempel, how you doing, sir? I haven't seen you in a while. How you doing? Switch beers and get someone to roll you to the boat. Yeah, pretty much it, man. Uh, you look like you need a salad instead. Well, thanks, Dr. Trolls. Undo, throw Yeah, one last one. I'm going to go. Yeah, please. Hey, people have been asking me, do you have Killians? Killians? Oh, we have St. Patty's. We have Smith's here. Oh, okay. They have Killian's for St. Patrick's Day, but not normally, they don't normally have it here, so. And then back and put them in the fridge. No, no, no. That was 85 to bring a small across the bridge. Much more now, okay. My sentence said tools, it should have said cost for toll booths around here, okay. Thank you, sir, appreciate it. Halfway on my move west, I round tripped in my van. There you go. 
What's up? Hey, Kiwa, how you doing? Yeah, there's a lot of rude people on YouTube. A lot of rude people that hide behind false names. Bunch of trolls, if you ask me. $105 for a five-axle truck to do what, John? Waterloo Premium Outlets is near the canal. Their DXL means store with great prices. Camo will not wear well on the East Coast. Yeah, Tim, I've never really concerned myself with what wears well or doesn't wear well. Especially since I'm from the East Coast. I was born and raised on Long Island. Nothing like a cold long neck beer. Here you go, man. Good old Stella. Uh, good stuff, too. Good stuff. Anyhow, kid, what's going on with you guys? Anything new and exciting out there besides Bobby getting blown up? Amber Bob. There you go. To cross the George Washington Bridge, $105 to cross the George Washington Bridge. That's crazy. Tours light there. There you go. Yep. I don't know why there aren't more boats. Maybe laws on the water here. A couple years ago, a marina had a fire and they lost a lot of boats and storage. If you find out why, not boats tell us. Yeah. I don't, I don't understand it because there's really no reason why that a lot of the people that are live aboard cruisers, I mean, if you got to get out of the hurricane zones, why not run up here and come up into the canals and, and you know, I mean, living is pretty inexpensive up here. So I, I don't understand the mentality of why people wouldn't sell up here and, you know, so many of the people, just like the YouTube creators, so many of them parked their boat someplace and then went ashore or went away somewhere for a while and left their boat in, in the hurricane zone. And it's just criminal, if you ask me, just criminal. I mean, get your boat the hell out of the Caribbean. Get your boat the hell out of Florida during hurricane season. Move someplace safe. This is someplace safe and affordable. So, I mean, it just makes sense to me. So. Could have been a contender, but I drank too much Stella. There you go. I like Stella. I like Stella. I like Heineken. I like Bex. I grew up, but I still like fart jokes. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yep. Well, guys, I think I'm gonna finish this beer and head on back to the boat. I'm about done for the evening. I'm tired. <clears throat> Got the poor dog home all by herself. I guess I should head over that direction. Let her out for another walk. What time is it? I have no idea. It's still pretty bright and sunny out, so I can't be too late. So, yeah, I am tired. Good night, Jared. Thanks, buddy. You want to walk with me? All right. Well, I got to go pay my bill first, so let's go up to the bar and pay the bill, and then we'll go from there. How's that? Be safe at the pump night. Yep, yep. Oh, let me get up. Say good night, everybody. Good night, buddy. She wouldn't. She wouldn't tell you guys her name, would she? No. That's very cool, buddy. She was afraid people were gonna stalk her. For her? That's reasonable, right? So what did I end up owing you? Just five dollars. Huh? Five dollars. Five bucks. <laughs> All right. They call me Bia for short. I like this sound. Thank you, sir. No problem. You like what sound? No, this sound. Oh. Keep you contained? Yeah, I kind of like it.
Uh, hold on, guys. I can't see the chat just now. You see what I missed in the chat? Uh, not evil and love Carl's stream for a long time. Yep. Tip. Very much enjoying your live streams, Carl. Keep them coming. I just hate it when I get noticed YouTube in time. No problem, David, dear. There you go. All right, so we're going to walk down the street here. Hey, bye. Bridge I have to go over tomorrow. I mean, my first bridge tomorrow. If I head out of here tomorrow. If I head out of here tomorrow. Probably will, though. The only reason why I'm really motivated to get out of here tomorrow is because they're setting up for this fireman's fair thing. They're setting up this whole, uh, I mean, you see it here. Probably you can't because the sun's right in the way. Anyhow, they're setting up an amusement park. They've got all kinds of rides and stuff, Ferris wheels and, you know, a regular carnival kind of thing. And so there's just going to be a lot of people over here as a result of that. So I'm kind of not wanting to be around here with all that going on. Because my boat is uh, kind of front and center along the canal there. And I just imagine like 400 people a day walking by, looking in the windows while... Me and Lily are in there trying to get stuff done, so I'll probably untie and head out of there. Tell you one thing that's been a pain in the neck here, these cottonwood trees. They're getting all this cottonwood fluff. All these little white, uh, almost look like snowflake things coming down, little white powder puffs blowing in the air. There's been a number of times I've inhaled one it's worse than inhaling a bug. Get this little puff of cottony stuff in your mouth. Pretty nasty, so. Anyhow, they have this really nice little gazebo right here. I don't know if you can see it. I'm walking by it right now. They uh, did a fundraiser, obviously, and sold bricks. So they have bricks with, you know, a uh, commemorative brick with their name on it to advertise their business that kind of thing going on so hey i can show you my my youtube sign of course it's going to be backwards but you see that you see that on the sign carl brook youtube that was the uh that was a sign that kate and her husband made for me so well, i might as well show you the boat there's there's the lily too sitting right here so let's see if I can get back on without getting wet okay the wind was blowing so hard today I actually added a second line on the boat I had two dock lines on but I added an extra one because it was because uh, it was blowing pretty good so all right <laughs> I'm going to let the beastie out. Just be forewarned that the dog is going to come blowing up the stairs. All right, dog, come on. There you go. There she is. Say hello. Say hello. You say hello? Huh? You say hello? What's all that, huh? All the guys are here putting all, this, all the rides together. So now she wants to woof it, everybody. I don't know if you can see it from here, but there's the amusement park getting set up on the other side of those bushes. You can see the top of the merry-go-round over there, the Ferris wheel. You can see the top of some of the rides getting set up. So, yes, she's very pretty, Mary. She is a pretty dog. Even if she's a butthead sometimes, right? Are you a butthead? Are you a butthead? Huh? Are you a butthead? No, you're not? Okay. She says she's not a butthead. Anyhow, I missed a lot in the chat while I was walking over. Let me go back and see what I missed. Oh, let's see what you are seeing as you walk. I tried to show you some. Did I show you enough? I guess I hope so. Um, live life to the fullest. There you go, Doug. 
uh, pray for world peace. There you go. I like it when you walk with us. I like it when I walk with you too, Mary. Uh, places I'll never go see a visit in person. One reason Charles channels so much. Well, thank you, David. I appreciate it. I don't blame you. I'd move on. Yep. Partly to mostly fuzzy. <laughs> pollen floating in there. Yes, lots of pollen in the air. Yep. Awesome sign. Looks good. Yeah, she did a beautiful job with it. I didn't do such a good job installing it, but she did a beautiful job making them. So, yeah, I'm going to get a little sunburn, aren't I? Be 50s there tonight. Yeah, I'm getting ready to bundle up and get a good night's sleep, that's for sure. Haven't you been there for over 40 years? I have sailing, and they don't have a problem with it. No one said a word to me, so. Uh, is there a boat? No, there's no boats anywhere near me. I'm the only boat here. So. They said I have to give you some loving. Can I give you some loving, huh? Can I give you some loving, huh? Yeah, she gave me doggy kisses. She gave me doggy kisses. Yes, she did. I, I, it's their fault. They said I have to give you loving. They're towards me. This is the area across the canal. Residential neighborhood houses and stuff over there. There's a little park over here where people park and. Uh, they park their cars and then they go walk their dogs or ride their bikes or whatever they're going to do. So, yeah, I'm telling you, Mary, it's a beautiful spot. It really is a beautiful spot. The whole canal is a beautiful spot. Make sure you change your generator oil. Yep, Tim, it's not due yet. I haven't run in enough hours to, according to the service manual, I'm supposed to change the oil at, at 100 hours. And I'm like, like, I don't know, 40 maybe now. So, oh, come on, that can't be low battery. You're plugged in to the power pack. You cannot possibly have low battery. I got four lights on here. This thing's full, fully charged. So anyhow, guys, I probably should end this thing anyway. Go plug my phone, and there she went on. She went on shore. Lily, Lily, come. Lily. Oh great! Now I have to go get her. <laughs> Lily, come! Okay. I guess I'm going to have to go get the dog, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Be good. Be careful. Take good care of one another. We'll catch you later. I'll go get my dog. Bye.